With the skeleton curse coming out over half a year ago, everyone has probably seen someone running around with this curse at least once. And I always hear people talking about how cool it is and I totally agree, but I run into a lot of people who are curious about how to get it so that's what this video is going to be about. How to get the skeleton curse and everything you need to know about it. If you've ever wondered how to get it, it's really simple. It's a bit of a grind, but all you have to do is reach level 75 reapers and 100 servants of the flame. Getting Reapers to 75 isn't too bad since anything you bring to this guy at the Reaper's hideout will give you XP toward it, regardless of what the item is worth. However, bringing in more valuable items gives you more XP. Also, flying the Reaper's flag and leveling up its grades will also net you a lot more reputation when you turn stuff in and way more gold. As for Servants of the Flame, getting to 100 is a grind. Whether you're winning or losing, you still gain reputation either way. Winning obviously gives you a lot more. I would say the best way to get to 100 in this is just to have fun and try your best to enjoy it. This game mode has a lot of issues and it's also where you'll run into most of the game's cheaters and hardcore PvPers. So don't get too discouraged when things go south, just keep grinding. Once you get those required levels, you have to head to Reaper's Hideout and play a song here. This elevator will bring you down to the Reaper's Lair. It's basically just the faction's hideout. Here you can find a whole lot of really cool stuff to look at, but if you head down the path in the center of the main room, you can perform the Ritual of the Flame, turning it into a skeleton and unlocking the curse. But, getting your skeleton and looking the way you want does not end there. Now that you've completed the Ritual of the Flame, you can start unlocking cosmetics at the Bonesmith. Each of the cosmetics that can be found here require commendations to unlock. Some are simple tasks like getting on a skeleton ship while wearing the curse, while some are much harder, like turning in 100 Athena flags to the Reaper's hideout. Another way you can unlock these cosmetics is by leveling up Servants of the Flame even more. For example, you unlock the Buckethead Skull at 170 and the Golden Bones at level 1000. But it still doesn't end there. Once you unlock these items at the Bonesmith, you'll still need to purchase them, and these cosmetics cost a lot of gold, usually costing hundreds of thousands of gold per part and going all the way up to 1 million for the gold bones. The last thing I want to make sure I mention in this video is the fact that you also get 8 special emotes while wearing this curse. Basically like the skeleton versions of already existing starter or basic emotes, but these look really clean and I feel like a lot of work was put into them. And just like that, that's the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful and helped you learn just a little bit more about Sea of Thieves. Make sure to subscribe for more useful tip videos in the future, and happy sailing!